Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dr. Quack Show. You know, I like to follow current events. And there's some funny stuff here that I always get to read. You know, I, this is my thing. Dear indie wrestlers, independent contractors, what are some of you thinking, man? I, I'm laughing my ass off at this. I really am. I mean... I read today, some guy, independent wrestler, you know, talking smack on social media about a WWE wrestler, you know, talking about, you know, they don't understand why they find Baron Corbin to be sexy. Why women like him and all this stuff. And Corbin responded. You know, I thought it was funny, you know. Because he said, I don't know how you can call yourself a pro wrestler when you're wrestling for a bag of chips and $5. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Because I'm, I'm going to be honest here. You know, look, any guy myself, okay, I didn't make it to the big leagues, you know. I had about a 15-year run. You know, on and off, did my thing, enjoyed the time. But there, there's some things that, you know, a lot of you guys should know. I did it for the passion, like a lot of you guys, and I understand that. But there's also something I did that I did that a lot of you guys don't. Listen to the veterans in this business. There are a lot of them, you know. When I was in, starting fresh, I listened to a lot of guys, you know. I listened to a lot of guys who have been places. A lot of guys, you know, that didn't just stay in one little territory. You know, didn't stay in one state or one small region and say, I'm the king of the world down here. No, I traveled. I wrestled in the Northeast. I wrestled down South. I wrestled in the Midwest, you know, and I enjoyed every bit of it. But I listened to a lot of the veterans, you know. I listened to my trainer, you know, Necro Butcher. Believe me, a lot of people think he's hardcore, which he is. But the man's pretty intelligent when it comes to this business. He was. And, if he, you know, any advice he ever gave, I always listened, you know. Harley Race, another one. Terry Funk. You know, just meeting these guys. George Steele. You know, Jim Cornette and many others, you know, who I've met throughout my years, you know. I'm not trying to toot my own horn and think that I'm better than anybody because I'm not. Now I'm going to tell you that. I'm not. I listen to these guys for advice, you know. When you do things that are public and call people out, you know, and you think you're listening in response and you're thinking, yeah, that's awesome. It's getting me over. No, you're a damn fool. You're a damn fool. Because you're not thinking. I mean, you, you want to knock guys for going to the performance center and not going straight on the indie scene for 10 years and might get a shot there. You know, save up your money. Dude, save your money. Go to the performance center. If you want to make it to the E, why wouldn't you do that? Go to the gym, get yourself all, you know, buff. Get yourself on a great look. You know, it's important. Believe me, if you don't look good, if you look like you just came out of Wendy's and look like you ate like 50 cheeseburgers, yeah, they're not going to book you. I mean, good God, get yourself in shape. Listen to the veterans. There's a lot of those guys. Like I said, Go to a good school, especially if you're new in this business. If you're brand new, not everybody can train well. You know, I did my share, a little bit of training. You know, but I had help. I had help on that with, with guys that I trained with because I had other guys that had been places. You know, I tried to teach what I knew and make sure that others, you know, knew the proper way to do this. You know, a lot of people, they, they didn't get that kind of training. You know, it, it just sickens me that people use social media 
You know, and they'll bash each other. I laugh. Indie promotions and indie promoters will bash each other. So some in uh, what they call semi-public, where they'll do it in a certain room, and some will do it straight public where everybody's seeing it. Yeah, that makes the product look better, right? Yeah, my product's better than yours. Your product's better than yours. Da, 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 you know, come on, man. And you wonder why, you know, you're going out there and you're doing all these super bumps and 450 splashes and 50 super kicks and, you know, being spot monkeys all damn day. This spot, that spot, your spot, my spot. We're going to do this spot. We got to get in every spot in the fucking world. Dude, you're wrestling. You're telling a story. Some of the better matches I've ever seen in my life were short. Five, ten minutes. Because they told a story. They didn't bore the fuck out of me. I always laugh with with, uh, wrestling fans. I used to watch wrestling, but... You hear that sentence right there. Fill in the blank with whatever word you want, but you hear it all the time. You know? And and why is that? Are we going to blame the E? Is that what we're going to do? Because the E is not the same with the Attitude Era? Sure, you, you can do that, but there's a lot more to blame. blame. Blame is all the way around on this, folks. You know, I just wish independent wrestlers would wake up and smell the roses. You know, I might be wasting my breath, but I felt like making a video about this. I mean, go to a good school. Like I'm telling you, if you're, if you're brand new in this business, go to training seminars, okay? I'm not saying that everybody you go to a seminar to is 100% accurate and they're going to make you a star instantly. But I will tell you this from going to seminars. You'll probably take about 10 to 20% of what they said and make it your own. You'll learn a little bit. There'll be something you'll learn from one of these guys. You know, I mean, I see a bunch of seminars that are thrown around. And you got to, you know, pay attention. Something that you might not have thought of might come out of it and might actually work to your advantage. You know, save your money, save your money and go to a good school. Good God. You know, there, there's the monster factory up in New Jersey. There's MCW with John Rambo. Definitely go down there and see those guys in Maryland. There's a lot of good schools around. I mean, the performance center is another one, of course, with the E, but I mean, you, you want to make it in this business, get properly trained, get a good look. Get some good gear. Gear's important. I'm not telling you if you're freshly starting to go buy $5,000 gear, you know, or $1,000, but make yourself look presentable, you know? I mean, hell, okay? I was Dr. Quack. I made my gimmick what it was. I had wrestling boots. I had scrubs. Because why? Because I was a fucking doctor. I had a doctor's jacket. I had a stethoscope, and I even had a bag. Why? Because it was all accessories to play the part of the character. You know? I made it my own. That's something that a lot of guys don't do. You know? Don't come out and be a trash bag wrestler. Good God. You know? Go out there and look the part. You know? This is just me venting. I felt like going off on this because I'm laughing because, okay, everybody's pissed off because Randy Orton's comments, Rip Rogers' comments, Baron Corbin's uh, comments. Some are even pissed at Jim Cornette comments. You know, do you think any of those really give a fuck if you're pissed off at them? Nope. They're on the way to the bank for whatever reason, you know, and they're making their money and they're doing their thing. But they're not saying it to rip you. They're not saying it to bust your balls. They're saying it so you can learn from it. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of independent wrestlers that go out there, go on YouTube and watch wrestling shoots. You know, learn from history, folks. Learn from history. If you don't learn from history, you are doomed to repeat it. You know, and if you want to be successful and you want to go overseas and wrestle, and if you want to make it to the WWE and other places, pick a veteran's mind. Believe me, pick a veteran's mind. Because if you don't, 
You're probably going to make a lot of mistakes. And then you're going to be sitting there, 35, 40 years old, going, that was the time of my life. I really had a shot, but I didn't make it. You know? Yeah, I'm talking about myself there, I guess. Because I, you know, I didn't make it, and I'm fine with it. It's something I'm, I'm good with. I enjoyed it. I wasn't really trying to get to the E. I mean, I never thought I had a shot in the first place, but God, I wanted to go out and wrestle. I did for my grandfather, and I did it, and I'm very proud of it. And I'm pretty sure he's happy in heaven watching. You know, when he saw it, and I'm pretty sure he's happy now. But if you don't want to feel that regret, if you don't want to feel that anger inside, and going, what if? Pick a veteran's mind. Talk to him. Learn from them. Ask them questions. Trust me, they don't mind answering most of them. Now, they, there might be a few out there that are pretty pissed off and might not want to be asked of things like this, but a lot of veterans, they, they will answer questions. They want to see the next generation succeed. They want to feel like they contributed as well to your success. I mean, I want to see, if anybody asks me any questions about this business, I'll answer them and I'll give you my best advice. Not saying it's 100% accurate, but it's my opinion. And this is about it on this video. I just really, the, the independent circuit, please learn from your mistakes. Please, please stop bashing people online all day long. We, we get it. We get it. You know, you want to be a badass. You know? I mean, if you're really tired of wrestling for $5 in a bag of chips, or my favorite saying, a fucking burrito, then listen. That should be your greatest tool right there to shut your mouth right there and keep your ear to the ground. And listen, listen to the veterans, you know, listen to people who've been there before you. I hope this helps you all out. You know, if you can share it, I'd appreciate it. Good luck, everybody. I hope you guys are paying attention, folks, because, you know, 20 years down the road, I'm going to be about 55. And I don't feel like seeing the same shit that I'm seeing right now. Good God. Let's make wrestling great again. Can we do that? There you go, Donald Trump. You like that? Make wrestling great again. Let's do that.